my man Sung Jun Woo didn't tell me he had a domain expansion now. It is not a domain expansion, but goddamn did it look like one. Murderous intent. Or in the webtoon, I believe it's called just Intimidate, right? Kang Taishik had no chance and he was a B rank. Meaning, Sung Jin Woo should be minimum B rank right now. I'll let the power scalers sort out whether or not he's low B, mid B, high B, low A, low high A. I'll let you guys sort it out. But hey, I think we have a date with Ju He because she had a little, little uh, the, the, the gift that we gave her at the double dungeon right now, right? Let's begin today's reaction. 76% mid B. Oh god, we're adding percentages onto the different subcategories of B now. <laughs> okay, here we go. Jinu -san, <laughs> yeah, you think he looks different? Gee, I wonder why. He, did he grow feet and get the best fucking surgery Gangnam could afford? Like, what? What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, a lot happened. I ran a lot. <laughs> yeah, my, my, I started mewing a lot. Solo mewing. <laughs> Poor Juhi, man. <sighs> look, look, look. We, we glaze up Chahe in a lot, but Juhi, she got game. I see the, I see that top. That top is exposing the, the collarbones and the shoulders. That is dangerous. Yeah, to heal his ass. Wow. <laughs> At first, it was a little annoying. <laughs> she was pissed off at the beginning. <laughs> this weak ass motherfucker is the only one getting hurt in this fucking goddamn dungeon. Even I don't fucking struggle against goblins, man. Mm. Yeah. Are we going out on a date? That's the one we gave her at the double dungeon, right? Salute you he. Maybe this is the better way, you know? She can live her own life doing different shit. Yeah, at least she's not dead, you know? Oh no! That was a little sad when she turned around! No, oh, Juhi! Juhi, no, no! What's gonna happen when Cha in shows up and Sung Jae gets out a magazine with Cha in? You know, ooh, look at these new hunters, you know? They're having fucking new magazine covers and it's like the power couple or some shit. And Juhi's gonna see it on the magazine at home in her parents' fucking basement and she's gonna fucking start crying, dude! No! Yeah, it's kind of crazy, huh, Manager Wu? Yeah, Someone's after us? Brother, brother, brother! Wang Dong Su's coming. Wang Dong Su's coming. The law is powerless to... What? I mean, at a certain point, you know, how do you enforce law? By, like, mon mon monopolizing violence. That's how, you know, the government can just tell the cops to just walk into your place and take all your shit, right? But it's like, what are you going to do against an S rank, huh? So I guess they really can't do shit unless you have other S ranks to enforce the violence, huh? <laughs> Uh -oh. Leave the country? But we can't afford actually we can't afford that now. But honestly Song Jin Wu probably can't beat Huang Dong Su right now, huh? Like right now, because what at best Jin Mu is probably like like high B, low A. I can't believe I'm saying high B, low A. But like it, it's it, we're not S rank yet. So it's like what the fuck are we gonna do? Get Chahe in. Get Chahe in to fight for us. Get, get Chahe in. Get, get, <laughs> get our new potential girlfriend to fight for us. <laughs> no, that doesn't look too good if, if, it, if that happens. Mm, we're gonna get hunted. <laughs> A gate for us to solo? That girl in the hood. Who's the other girl that's always hooded? Our little, our little sister's friend. Is that her? Do you, she's always in the hood, right? Cause what, what, wasn't she like talking shit before? Wasn't she talking shit about how Jinmu's like weak or some shit? Would she even recognize Jinmu now? <laughs> Bro, it's fucking dangerous. <laughs> Bro, it's fucking. No, 
<笑>あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、
You see that? The werewolves are scared of Jinhu, dude. That was stealth, I think. That was stealth? Dash level 2, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Whoa, 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 what do you mean? Oh, Fatal Strike? Fatal Strike? Did he just use Fatal Strike there? So, advanced dagger wielding is probably just like a passive where it's like, you know, if you use a dagger, more damage, but Fatal Strike, was that it? Fatal Strike! Which is just like a palm strike. I'm not really sure what's going on. He like did this and there's like three different things. Like he got three holes in him, right? It's like a shotgun palm strike. I don't know. Cool, cool, cool. Was that three stabs in one go? I don't know. It just looked like boom. And it was, you know, three holes. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do we get? What do we get? We got a... That's just advanced dagger wielding. Is it stealth? Okay, it's stealth. That's what we have. Intelligence. Intelligence or is there mana potions in this game? Demon Castle? I don't think it's ready yet. <laughs> okay. Now we're somewhere between B and A rank, right? Now this is like high B, low A. <laughs> no, 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 no. We were stressing over the rank at the end of the last episode. This episode, he just leveled up so many times and now he's declaring somewhere between high B, low A, okay? And yes, I think he did drink the mana potion there. Actually, I believe that he is low high A. 76% of the way to get to... Mid low A player has reached class class because we don't have a job yet, right? Bro has been just like adventurer new so far. Job change! Okay, we can specialize. So like, I think that most some people are just it, it might be a little bit spoilers, but some people are like, I can't believe people think that he's just gonna be assassin because like. Being an assassin or a rogue or a thief, it just makes sense with Jin Wu's, you know, style so far, right? He's fast, agile, stealth, dagger. So anyone would think intuitively that it should be assassin, thief, but, but let it cook. Let it cook. There's got to be a plot twist coming, right? White Uncle Tiger Joe. Guild. White Tiger uh, Guild. They're all hogs. Oh, Jinho's fucking wailing on to the bids and the gates, huh? Double the market rate. Jinho's wailing. Probably heard of his dad, though. Eugene Construction? No way! But well, we're making all that money back, too, aren't we? Song Jin Woo. Yeah. When? The fuck he knew about the double? Maybe, maybe, maybe it is like a, the double dungeon news was kind of viral, but he knows what you smelling. <laughs> They're just trying to play cards now while they wait. More time to collect the mana crystals rather than hunting the monsters. That girl's still peeping her eye on us, son. What do you want? What do you want? Look, he just walks away with eyes closed. Perception? What you looking at? What? Oh, this guy's done his fucking homework. Oh, well, this guy's done his homework. And Sung Jin Mu just happens to always be there. You're not gonna be able to poach him, bro. Yikes. Whoops. Maybe we should have tried to try to act like we were busy. These motherfuckers should be, you know, hiding somewhere else. This looks bad if we're fucking day drinking and just fucking around while there's only two people in the gate. <laughs> Oh, let's go, Songi. Get out of here, boomers. Let's go, Songi. You are a child, though. This is Karane's voice actor, right? From 100 Girlfriends? 
Not really. Are you? Are you really? Are you participating? You're not. This guy figured it out. This guy figured it out. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Manage it got all the info he needed. This is not good. Day off? Nice. Wait, would we lose the bid money that we put in the 150 million won? Okay. There's like a amount of days that you can reserve it for. Uh oh. He was still there? The manager was still there, right? Ant? Whoa, 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 whoa. This is a Jeju raid PTSD? Jeju raid PTSD? <laughs> Damn. Damn. That felt like another fucking domain expansion. Fucking Jeju Island Ant domain expansion. So Guildmaster Che, obviously he has some you know regrets back in the past, right? This is the his comrades like dying and he's kind of like haunted by the trauma of it. But but that's his own wait 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 is it the ant? Because he is the flame master. So he's like killing people with the fl uh, well, maybe, maybe it haunts him, the people that he burned up. What what is this? And then the ants, yeah. And then Mr. Gilmaster Che's eyes, right there. Look how well these eyes are fucking animated, man. All the blood of his comrades, yeah? His fallen comrade, this is literally exactly this is Ryoiki Tenkai and PTSD. Damn. Did they do that in the webtoon? That, that was hype. I should probably not getting. I should probably not be so excited. Why are you guys even so fucking excited over this, guys? Are you happy? You're witnessing a guy's fucking trauma? Y'all are like, this is peak! Oh my god, peak! You should replay that! That was so sick! You sick motherfuckers watching a man, you know, fucking terrorized by his own fucking past. What is wrong with you freaks? Wanna do it one more time? Wanna do it one more time? Damn. <laughs> and he's up. Even he is pretty vulnerable, huh? He has a pretty cool front that he shows to other people, but... Got a vulnerable side. Renaissance mission of Jeju Island. Top secret. So we're going back, huh? Because, like, this Jeju Island ant arc has been fucking hyped up since, like... Episode 1, straight up, right? Episode 1 started off with the ant shit from the past. They've been really sprinkling in this, hey, ants, Jeju Island, ants, ants, but it's not really, this is like super endgame stuff, right? So, like, there's been a gate break and Jeju Island fucked, so we're gonna go reclaim it one day, and Song Jin Woo? Is Song Jin Woo gonna be the ace, the trump card that Korea needs to reclaim? Ah. Who, who knows, who knows? Oh, it's them again. The stalkers are stalkers. I don't think we are going to join the White Tigers, to be honest. <laughs> We're back at Cafe Cock, Cafe Dick, Cafe Penis, Cafe Penny. Ah, the only cafe that exists in Korea. <laughs> the penis cafe. Amazing. Okay, how much money are you gonna poach? Wait, what did you say? How much you say? How much you offering? Double. Can you pay double though? Because, you know, our trust fund kin is pretty fucking loaded. Can you really? I don't think he would ever accept this. So like, how about we just like state the number of how much Jinho is paying us? Then he's like, double that, can you? And he'd be like, <laughs> Nah, you're lowballing. Immediately going to the valuation of the entire guild HQ. Cause what was, uh, what did Jinho say? Well, how, how much, was it like 22 million or some shit, right? What was the exact number? I forget, it was in the 20 mils, right? <laughs> Never mind, not, no, no, more, 30 bill, 30 bill, <laughs> not mil, because about 50 is, uh, about 50, 55, right, if, if, if it's like 30 bill and 60, it's in that range, you know, that's kind of 2x, so can you basically offer your entire guild HQ, right, that's the, basically what the math comes down to. I'm, I'm that guy right now, just sitting outside, I, it, <laughs> who, who was this? Who, uh, who, who, who is it? Damn. <laughs> this guy is so shocking. He's like... <laughs> he's, like, 
ですよ、ね。六億ほどでしょうか。<笑>ってこと、それをくださるってこと。ランダムギア。さ<笑>、三百億。You're gonna pay up sixty bill。人建設が報酬として提示してきたのは三百億のビルです。いや、のビルをいただける。Can you offer that? He can't。信じられないのでしたら、ここに証拠もあります。Damn. Go home and ask for permission. Bye bye. Bro just got fucking mogged on. You didn't can sit in a tie who was shabby the caracul be kidnapped. Oh, wait, he's not done yet. He's not done yet. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. This is going to be a little intimidating. Oh, 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 Stealth? What, where, 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 where did that cut come from? Where, where did that cut come from? He didn't like scratch him, did he? He cut his. Wait, how did that cut happen? Because he was right by there, right? He, he went stealth and did, did, did he bust basically cast stealth and just like went by and just like scratched his fucking chin? All right, more, more solo mewing. More solo mewing meme, bro. Just went bye bye, bye bye. Shame, cut him. Just leave. Uh oh. Oh no, I just got mogged on. You better start mewing too if you want stealth, bro. Oh, 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 he's still here? He's still here? He's still here! Dude, this is like empty soundtrack? The, the cafe music just like went out and now you're hearing like air noises? This is... And don't turn around? This is fucking intimidating. Holy shit, I thought he just left! Tell me everything. Okay. Song Hunter no Koto, Shifto. No, nobody else, sir. Nobody else, sir. <laughs> Are they gonna die? There's no way he would kill them, right? No, he would, and that would raise suspicions. Well, oh, you should have not dug into this, bro. You messed with the wrong guy. And he's back. And he's back, okay. And the cafe music's back. What about that cut, though? Wait, why, why did he cut it? He cut him just to like let him know I'm not fucking around. Like I could actually kill you right now. <laughs> then he comes back to stealth and he's just picking. Okay, cafe music back on. Chill little coffee date back. <laughs> Wait, so that's the cafe music. Because we're already paying double the market price. 150 mil is double what a C rank auction is. But he's making him pay quadruple now? God damn! Double, double! <clears throat> Too bad for you. Too bad that's your problem, bro. Nope. Oh, I thought. Oh, I thought he'd be a dick and try to push it even more. It's like, I'm gonna kill you then. Okay, alright, 200 mil. Art of the, art of the deal, easy. Fungjinmu, art of the deal. Cool. Bro got hustled, dude. He came here to scam. Truly, we scammed a scammer, huh? Actually. Close your eyes and open your mouth. These are lines that you should have said to Juhi or for Chahi and late. Well, what? <laughs> Why would you tell this old man? Close your eyes, open your mouth, <laughs> spread your legs, okay? <laughs> okay. Huh? What is that? There had to be a less sussy way to heal his fucking cut, right? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> that shit was so fucking sus. Bye bye. <laughs> Bro came here to scam, got scammed. Don't fuck with them. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Ah, oh, we scammed him. Got the 600 mil. Easy. Secure the bag. How? We threatened to kill them. <laughs> White Tiger Guild. <laughs> Bitter. I'm Frisk Guild. Bitter. Black Cat Guild. Harris Building. Okay, okay. These are all the bids through their apps. Okay. Other ones are selling for 70 mil or less. Bro literally paid triple. Bro fucking paid triple. <laughs> Got him! You try to scam us, man! You should have done your homework. But this were even. Just fucking twisting the dagger at the very end after he realizes he got scammed. It is what it is, man. How did he get his number? Good question. Bro got Sung Jin with his number, dude. He actually got He's so happy about it. Yo, is, is that a new car? Is this his new ride? I, I haven't seen this one before. The new ride? Okay, okay. And that's the episode. Today's episode was pretty chill, right? You can't have every episode be pop-up episodes, but it basically started off by saying bye to Juhi. I've been very mean to Juhi. And the reason I'm being mean, and, and you guys aren't going to believe me, the reason I am mean to characters like Juhi is because you can kind of get a feeling that Cha Hyun is going to, you know, replace her, right? And when that happens, I'm going to feel bad. So whenever I can kind of anticipate that a character will lose, our character's going to get cucked, I immediately start bashing on this so that I don't get emotionally attached so that when the inevitable, inevitable arrives, I don't feel that heart turmoil. But goddamn, it was pretty sad to see Juhi retire. It's like, like that, that smile turns to frown as she walked away. Like, <sighs> look at that, man. Just like, look at that, man. It is what it is. But hey, we got a new girl on their way. Who knows when she's going to show up. Now, Manager Wu... He's kind of saucy, but at the same time, he's kind of warning us that Huang dong is going to show up. And what is this? If this is episode 9 or something, we got the last arc that we're going to go into. We'll probably handle Huang dong Su, huh? The conflict with him. I mean, he's a fucking S rank. This is episode 10. Maybe we have like three or two episodes left. Like, man, how the fuck are we going to like um, take out Huang dong Su and s rank Hunter in that time? We need to fucking level up a lot before them, man. I don't know how this is going to work out, but... That's something to look forward to. We got an S rank American Hunter who's actually Korean showing up. Uh, we got this girl back, Song Yi, which is uh, Jina's, our little sister's friend. I thought that we would flex on her, but she kind of already seems a little risen. And not only that, we, she don't, it doesn't make sense to flex on her because she doesn't even know that Jin Mu is like Jina's brother, right? They never met. So that's not, that's too early. That's too early, right? There's some really cool hype scenes, you know, the 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 montage between Clear and DC Rank Gate. It's really cool to see them just like bash through this while Jin was like hunting and like you know Jin Ho is like farming optimal. It's pretty cool, and everyone else is fucking you know day drinking outside, bro. This whole second half of scamming the White Hunter Guild is fucking funny, man. It's so funny how like he was coming here to scam us, but then we scammed him. And dude, the intimidation, bro. Can you believe that this is the same character that we saw in episode one? It's crazy. Not only the physique, but the psychology, the mentality, and the way that he just said, don't move. Stand there. Close your eyes. Open your mouth. It's like, oof. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's just a pig to pour the potion. And now, that's pretty much it. We scammed the scammer, and we're getting ready for the Huang Dong Su arc, and that should wrap up part one of season one or season one entirely but hey that's it for me if you're still here if you didn't enjoy this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care